known faces for some reason yeah <coughs> point number 1 uh, what we are going to discuss here today is start with the scratch from the basic you might have come to upsc expecting a lot of things so we need to understand what upsc is not so that you will understand what upsc is that is rule number 1 so like you know how many of you came on your own intuition like i want to become a ias officer how many of you came on your own intuition like really really my dream yes how many engineers yes uh, how many humanities okay doctors okay right any phd no doctoral candidates cs commerce ca or commerce cs okay done Oh, nice. Okay. <clears throat> How many of you are from vernacular background? Telugu medium. Telugu, Hindi or any other medium. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, rule number one is you need to know where you are going ahead in UPSC. The, the ultimate object of UPSC is what? Why are you preparing for UPSC? See, it's the easiest answer, right? You want to be what? IAS officer. Nothing less than IAS will do that to home cadder. Yes or no? Home cadder, Telangana or Andhra Pradesh or whatever state, you want to be IAS in that particular state. Nothing else. Yes or no? That is your dream. Yes? Now, the problem is, you think IAS is the end. Okay? Definitely IAS is the end, but the end is to serve public. The end is to what? To serve the public. Unless you have that determination, you are not going to sit for 10 hours every day and read. Yes, why? 2 hours of class itself will feel burden. Do you think you will work for 16 hours a day to help someone whom you don't even know? Yes or no? You are not even able to work for yourself for 8 hours, 10 hours a day. Do you think you have that commitment to work for someone 16 hours a day? Only for 60,000 salary or 80,000 salary, not lakhs, no bench car, no foreign trips. Okay, rural trips definitely. Yes? Do you have that kind of commitment? Sure, huh? You know, it's not a joke. Again, you, you have to be this in cycle for one and a half year. Okay? Me, when will you write? <coughs> Probably you will write in... Uh, May 24, see I will tell you numbers, uh, first I have to give you reality check so that you will understand what you are entering into, yes or no, May 24, uh, let us assume you will write, you will clear prelims hopefully, in September 24 you will write, mains, ok, in Feb 24 you will give what, your interview, oh so sweet, everything is going, so nicely okay fine day you woke up and you saw the final pdf your name is not in the list okay just getting interview call does not guarantee you service 14000 people will be writing mains okay probably 1000 people will be getting into service again if you are in general category top 50 that means 500 you have to be in the top 500 rank or less so this year as far as i know the last general rank is 426 so you have to be in the top 426 in India to be in the service. God forbid your name is not in the final list. What will you do again? May 25, sorry. May 25, September 25, February 2026. This is just your second attempt. When are we talking about this? June 2023. Your just two attempts means we are already in what? February 2026. Again, God forbid you failed. Okay. Not according to me, but according to UPSA annual report, majority of the candidates clear in third or fourth attempt. Okay. Now your third attempt. When? Feb 2027. So probably you will forget my name by the time you reach there. Okay. There was some sir. I forgot his name. Okay. You forget the faculty name, then forget the you know, subject. Yes, so if we go by average UPSC standards, the third attempt means February 2027. 
ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ సెవెన్ సార్టీనా డాబి పవన్ దత్త యునో వాట్ ఈస్ ఇస్ నేమ్ షా ఫైజల్ ఆల్ దీస్ పీపుల్ క్లియర్ ఫస్ట్ అటెంప్ట్ ఫస్ట్ ర్యాంక్ ఐ విల్ ఆల్సో బీన్ దట్ లిస్ట్ ఐ విల్ బీ వెరీ హ్యాపీ ఫర్ యూ ఓకే బట్ అకార్డింగ్ టు యూపీఎస్సి ఓన్ యాన్యువల్ రిపోర్ట్స్ ఇట్ విల్ టేక్ త్రీ అటెంప్ట్స్ వై ఇట్స్ నాట్ దట్ ఈజీ ఇట్ టేక్స్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ టైమ్ అండ్ energy if you cannot sit for 3 hours in the class do you think you have the courage to sit for next 4 years and what assuming you are clearing mains and interview every time only then mental maturity will come right okay first attempt you didn't clear prelims second attempt you didn't clear prelims third attempt you cleared prelims but you don't know how to write a mains you might go there and still fail and again start i hope you understand the difficulty that you are entering into it's not a rosy picture it's not a easy job but the job is totally worth it no matter what people say after all this hardship if your name is in the list and you are an ias officer it's 110% worth it okay but for that what is the commitment that is expected from you is something you need to understand yes or no every day 10 hours of consistent work from here to here we are not even adding what the june 2023 to may 2024 effort okay what you do now okay will decide your future yes most of the aspirants don't clear their first prelims 9 out of 10 aspirants don't clear their first prelims okay and luckily this year the vacancy is high 1000 posts okay there are 14000 people who cleared uh, prelims okay if the vacancy is around 600 700 the number will again come down yes this is the ground reality and i will tell you one more reality when when you are attempting let's say may 24 attempt you need to understand all these things i am giving you insights may 24 attempt you are giving somebody who is already a ips irs gave two interviews gave two mains okay these are the people whom you are competing with yes or no so out of the 2500 people who get interview calls okay at least 1700 of them have already written mains or gave interview or already in service so your chances of entering this market itself that is the interview call market itself is very very slim you have to outsmart all these people enter into that list then get into final list this is expected from you are you are you able to understand who is your real competition not the person sitting left or right to you is yes or no you are not even seeing your real competition that is people who are already in service they are your true competition he is already irs that means he cleared prelims mains interview uh, got accepted by upsc that is the quality of that candidate that whom you are competing with so unless you outsmart him through hard work and consistency you are not going to see that list yes do you agree so the problem is from day one if you don't have the right orientation right mindset the the ecosystem that you roam in either ashok nagar or your friend circle they will always pull you down upsc is not your cup of tea take upsc coaching we will go back to group 1 group 2 vro group 4 probably group 5 notification will come people will write that also again i'm not saying that if your financial constraints are there you should not write but if you came for upsc you should only invest in upsc why this ips who is already taking money from government of india is taking a leave and is preparing only for upsc to become ias okay nothing else he has a single point agenda in his life every day he wakes up to become what ias officer who is paying salary to for him government of india okay luxury see many list many times uh, that nandini nandini kr first rank she was an irs okay anudip durisetty was already in I, uh, audit and account service so everybody who is in service will try to improve their rank so when you are competing with such people okay do you think your efforts will suffice that is the first question you should ask every day if you feel like i oh i already worked so hard today then you should remember such people only then you will find the motivation i hope you understand this is competition plain and simple nothing else no romanticism no emotions okay my i have a lot of family problems i read hanuman chalisa every day god will make me ias it won't work all your emotions all your family dramas upsc doesn't care even god doesn't care why 
there are people who are working hard only hard work is rewarded may the most deserving win yes or no you are so lazy that you cannot even read newspaper every day okay then you should not even dream to become an ias officer why somebody is already reading newspaper every day somebody is reading lakshmikanth seven times okay why should you even enter mains hall yes or no that means your competition is not better than you they are just working hard in their own pace you are pushing them further and further clear i hope you understand so all your romantic ideas about upsc i will go i will conquer it you know vini vidi vichi i i came i saw i conquered these things won't happen unless you have orientation that is right from day one you need to have right perspective yes perspective is everything in upsc that is why some people clear on day one like that is the first attempt why they came here for one purpose what is that purpose to get into ias no distractions no other work commitment pure bloody commitment every day sir i will read for 10 hours first thing i told you is read newspapers okay 9 out of 10 people even today feel it's a pain yes or no why it is a pain to read newspaper but the thing is that pain will make you what ias anybody can become a software engineer but not anybody can say i can be a ias okay you have to go through the road of pain to reach the ultimate destiny ha have you ever met an ias officer no where vijaywada in his office okay so if you get a choice go and meet an ias officer or an ips officer okay even a railway traffic service officer anything in ups list go and see at the age of 28 at the age of 30 you will be supervising not less than 3500 people not less than 3500 people just imagine at the age of 28 if you are a software engineer what will happen you are under your team leader probably you are the team leader okay that's the maximum you can achieve but a railway traffic service officer is in charge of lakhs and lakhs of lives every day yes that is a calling not everybody deserves it so if you have if you understand the job that you are entering into okay you will understand how much you have to put in and it's totally worth it clear so don't deviate from your core dream unless you have given at least one means if somebody comes and tell you it's enough you have done all the hard work in the world they are lying to you no unless you wrote one means you show me your score card okay you are not serious in economy there is a concept called as unemployed okay all of you know understand that term unemployed unemployed right basically there is a concept called as labor force that means you are capable that means you are a graduate you can do some job you are looking for some job okay you are willing to work for some job then also you are considered as unemployed you mean labor force okay all of you are pure labor force but you are assuming or you are in illusion that i am preparing for upsc if you don't have the right orientation okay only when you enter mains hall okay you are seriously preparing for upsc till then it's waste of time okay second perspective that you need to develop is this is prelims okay sorry my bad again i'm not very good at dra drawings but please kindly adjust okay this is you okay you are looking at prelims okay for you right now all you can think of is prelims okay lakshmi kan polity geography economy so on and so forth okay but in the larger scheme of things what actually happens is this is mains okay you don't even see that there is a bigger mountain behind the mountain because all you are stuck is with prelims okay prelims mindset but in reality this is preparation mains prelims if you actually prepare for mains automatically you are preparing for prelims so prelims is a subset of mains so whatever you do if you have the right orientation within every topic there is prelims within every topic there is also mains if you understand it like that automatically your preparation will change but if you look it as two separate mountains or one is bigger than the other then you are fooling yourself again right 
again please understand this is not for everyone i'm i'm really talking to that person who is really committed to become ias officer why 10000 people will come to attempt every year okay only 50 of them will remain the rest 9000 you know 950 will go away saying you know this is not my cup of tea in the customer lane you know this i cannot work this this hard okay or i have worked too much already there is no such thing if you want ias you should work better than an ips officer even as a beginner right so the the takeaway is what prelims is subset of mains prelims is subset of mains okay next the most important thing the rule of thumb that you have to remember ultimately is this you are not in upsc for knowledge okay you are not here to master yourself in one subject you are not here to do phd your knowledge is not equal to marks or marks are not equal to knowledge you don't have to have higher knowledge to get good marks okay you need to have some basic knowledge you are not here to do phd okay whatever you do you 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 talk to your friend okay you know today there was an article about let's say cyclone okay you talk to your friend why are you doing that not that you are bored you are you are revising you read an article you are trying to explain to your friend okay by explaining you are revising so your ultimate objective is what to get marks every single thing you do in upsc should lead to what marks whether it's prelims whether it's mains or whether it's personality test you don't know how to speak in english fine you start speaking that in uh, with your friends from day one why one year down the line you believe that probably you'll get interview call and that will help you gain marks fluent english is also rewarded yes or no that helps if you don't know how to speak properly see when i came to hyderabad and i was in you know probably just out of my graduation i felt embarrassed to even say excuse me why from a small town when we come to Hyderabad, okay, why will we use excuse me in small towns? Anna pakka dapko, right? So, uh, we, we never use excuse me or anything, right? Uh, that is our body language, okay? But you are forced to learn language? Yes, you are forced to learn vocabulary? Yes or no? So that means you have to reinvent yourself. You have to learn unlearn unlearn what bad habits unlearn your self-loathing unlearn your lack of self-esteem you have to actually believe in your dna level that i believed belong to upsc okay i am here to conquer it if you don't have that attitude from day one trust me you will never even see the mains hall you might be thinking, Sar is full of himself. Sar will always say such big, big statements, okay? But I will tell you a very simple fact. All I have is experience. Nothing else. You and I are not different from each other. You are smart, I am smart, okay? The only difference is I have experience. I'm in this field from 2010. This is 20, 23. So how many students I might have seen? As a, as a student, I have seen students. As a peer, I have seen my mains aspirants, interview aspirants. I have seen people entering into service. Then I started mentoring. As a mentor, I have seen so many students. Even now, I mentor every day. So I see people at all level, prelims, mains, interview level. Okay. So everybody thinks he is the smartest person alive and he came to UPSC and he will clear it. The problem is not, I mean, they are not far from the diagnosis. But the problem is you need to do certain things in the right mindset to get into UPSC. So please remember, don't confuse UPSC for knowledge. You are not here to amass knowledge. You are supposed to know basic knowledge. What is basic knowledge? Cyclones. Are you supposed to know about cyclones? Why? Who told you? Is it mentioned in syllabus copy? Sure. Huh? Disaster management, it's mentioned. Huh? You are assuming. Huh? See, in UPSC, they will mention probably water. Is it mentioned in your syllabus copy? 
probably okay rain water underground water river river linking what is mentioned water harvesting no that means upsc won't give you explicit syllabus lines okay they will just macroly mention water okay there are around 14 to 16 different types of water varieties that will come out of this river banks rivers sand in the river everything is water only that is a prelims question what will happen when people dig up sand in hindu or inadu if you open every day there will be an article sand mafia is stealing all the sand from the river beds okay we all saw that newspaper it's everybody knows right at least once you must have seen this news article then one day upsc asked a prelims question what will happen if i remove too much sand a will it reduce underground water b will it lead to floods c something else what will happen we never applied our knowledge right we read we didn't read anything for mark sake we only read it for the sake of reading it Yes or no? Pressure cooker. How many of you seen a pressure cooker? How many of you haven't seen a pressure cooker? Can it be a prelims question? Yes, what's your name? What's your problem? Behind you. Mire. Nidras Sunda. Hmm. Chirag Gunda. Emma expression with the name Bada. What is your problem? We are here to learn. Pakka na, eman unte elpo chhu. Nobody stopping you. Hmm? Padukalan kunte baithe elpo ondi. UPSC koshe ne randi. Because ni yavar me malle bilchi e ma India nada garu. Service achhe na unkonde. Everybody will ask you. Be crystal clear. Okay na? Hmm? Le da unta kanpi kunda pillar and kalgur chonde. Me kona ki dar ki sukam. No, no drama. Hmm? Yes. So pressure cooker. How many of you will see pressure uh, pressure cooker every day? We all see, right? Okay. But what is the working principle of pressure cooker? That we sp we read in school. On a school lo eppolo chadivin tadu sar jep tadu internal heat peru thundi it it goes up to fifteen hundred and jepi apur gora awali chinta nak delsi. Okay. The problem is when it comes back to the UPSC prelims, it's two marks. And go and see there are at least hundred aspirants who failed by one mark. And me Jeevitam low one and a half year of your hard work in the starting May 2023 to May 20, June 24. Chade. It takes one question to destroy your life. One just one question. And non serious aspirants Gurinch Markausram Ledu. If you take all the serious aspirants, the difference between marks is very, very less. Ten marks though, you will be either in top ten or you will be outside the top ten. I think I have a PDF, I will show you. Right? <clears throat> so these are the marks of the top 10 ranks. This is the final total. Okay? Here, there is a person with interview marks of 95, top top 25 low. Aksha, uh, no, sorry, sorry, my bad. Yeah. See, these are the top 10 ranks. Okay? If you see the rank 12, rank 19th actually, SA score is 95. Okay? 95. Just because of SA or else she would have been in top 5. Okay, just see the difference of the marks. It's not very high. One mark is all you need to just be in the top 10 or top 15. So top 30 rank is 1030. Top 10 rank is 1060. A, a, a total of 30 marks. Yes or no? And the GS paper, they would be in service. Right, and you can understand the difference in GS. The first four papers, SA, GS, 1, 2, 3, 4, they will make or break your attempt. GS scores good at Chudani Mali. The top 20 ranks, the scores are hardly 3 marks, 5 marks, here and there they are different. Is that no? For example, these two people scored fantastically well in essay. What happened? What about others? These two people would have been total in a different rank had they had a better essay scores. 
ఎస్ ఆర్ నో అంటే నో అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ హార్డ్ వర్క్ విల్ సే దట్ ఇట్స్ గ్యారంటీడ్ అండ్ హ్యూమన్లీ యూ కెనాట్ సే పీపుల్ హూ స్కోర్డ్ వన్ ఫోర్ సిక్స్టీన్ జిఎస్ డజన్ నో హౌ టు రైట్ అండ్ ఎస్ఏ ఇదే నాలెడ్జ్ కదా యూ యూజ్ హియర్ ఎస్ ఆర్ నో దట్ మీన్స్ perspective everyday application you need to be good in every place this is what these are ranks of top 10 bane undi kada now we will go to people who got selected but didn't get good ranks you can see the difference in the scores entak padipoyindi 900s okay the num- the difference here is even less ikkadaithe literally you fight for every mark 700 హండ్రెడ్ సెవెన్ హండ్రెడ్ ర్యాంక్స్ వచ్చిందంటే ఒకే స్కోర్ మీద యూ హ్యావ్ సో మెనీ పీపుల్ రన్నింగ్ ఫర్ సో మెనీ ర్యాంక్స్ ఎవ్రీ మార్క్ విల్ మేక్ ద డిఫరెన్స్ దీనికంటే కొంచెం బయటకు వచ్చాం అనుకోండి అగైన్ దీస్ ఆర్ ఆల్ పీపుల్ హూ గాట్ సమ్ సర్వీస్ ఓకే దీన్ని దాటి బయటకు వస్తే ఓకే ద స్కోర్స్ విల్ బీ లైక్ ఎయిట్ నైంటీ సిక్స్ ఎయిట్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఫైవ్ యూనో నైంటీ ఫైవ్ వన్ వన్ మార్క్ యు ఆర్ అవుట్ జస్ట్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ వన్ మార్క్ యు ఆర్ నాట్ ఇన్ ద సర్వీస్ ఫైనల్ లిస్ట్లో వై ఆర్ యూ నాట్ దేర్ వన్ మార్క్ యూ విల్ మిస్డ్ సమ్వేర్ దిస్ ఈస్ అ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ కట్ థ్రోట్ కాంపిటీషన్ దట్ యూ ఆర్ ఎయిమింగ్ ఫర్ ఓకే దిస్ ఈజ్ వై ఎవ్రీథింగ్ మ్యాటర్స్ సో ఐ హోప్ యూ అండర్స్టూడ్ ద సమ్మరీ రైట్ ద సమ్మరీ ఈజ్ ఎవ్రీ మార్క్ కౌంట్స్ అండ్ యువర్ బేస్ స్కోర్స్ విల్ చేంజ్ నో రైట్ వన్ మోర్ థింగ్ how many of you have seen syllabus copy before we discuss the gs or syllabus or essay and all those things syllabus copy how many of you have seen syllabus copy how many of you carry syllabus copy hmm please make it a habit please make it a habit okay i will tell you a english idiom i don't know how many of you can understand it it's easy but not Oh, what 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 is the essence of that it's easy but not simple not the statement <laughs> okay what is the meaning of that statement <laughs> it's easy to listen but not it is not simple to follow okay yes anyone else any other interpretation easy but not simple <laughs> that is translation <laughs> uh, okay application you should consistently implement it okay hmm. theory and practice is what you are saying what she was saying right it's easy to listen but it's very difficult to implement okay yes any other last interpretations అశోక్ నగర్కి వచ్చాము చాయ్ తాగాము బాగుంది తర్వాత నలుగురు ఫ్రెండ్స్ అయ్యారు సాయంత్రం కర్రీలు తెచ్చుకుంటాము బాగా ఆకలిస్తే బావర్చి నుంచి మిరి బిర్యానీ పెట్టుకుంటాము దాని తర్వాత ఏంటి సో ట్రస్ట్ మీ ఎకో సిస్టమ్ ఈజ్ ద మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ థింగ్ ఎకో సిస్టమ్స్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ విత్ ఎకో సిస్టమ్స్ ఈజ్ దెర్ ఆర్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్స్ ఇన్ ఢిల్లీ వేర్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు గో టు ద ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ వన్ అవర్ బిఫోర్ సో దట్ యుల్ గెట్ ద టాప్ ట్వంటీ సీట్స్ and if if this is the dias if if the faculty is here okay faculty chutupakala itla mood rows untai kada okay ee mood road lo seat lo kosam people will wait for 1 hour literally they wait outside the institute with an id card for 1 hour okay deen venakala 250 people will sit okay the thing is some or the other person from this 250 will get into the service but if you look at top 50 every year this batch will always be there okay they will always sit in the front why they have one single rule that is commitment towards the success everybody success not the institute success your own success okay if you cannot find the right ecosystem will advantage em untundi all the 50 60 people who will sit here they all are equally smart they are all equally passionate and they will support each other they will motivate each other if i ask her to read newspaper she is not reading newspaper you are reading newspaper she will come and she will make fun out of you 
సారే ముందు అట్లా చెప్తా ఉంటాడు వేర్ విల్ యూ ఫైన్ టైమ్ అని చెప్పి నాశనం అయిపోయింది ఎవరు సారా మీరా వాడా యూ అండర్స్టాండ్ రైట్ ఇట్స్ అ వెరీ సింపుల్ థింగ్ ఎకో సిస్టమ్ ఓకే ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ద రైట్ పీర్స్ రైట్ పీర్స్ వన్ టూ ఆఫ్ మై స్టూడెంట్స్ క్లియర్ ప్రిలిమ్స్ దిస్ టైమ్ అండ్ బోత్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ ఆర్ రూమ్మేట్స్ ఓకే బోత్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ వర్ మోటివేషన్ ఫర్ ఈచ్ అదర్ ఒక అమ్మాయి చదవకపోతే ఇంకొక అమ్మాయిని మోటివేట్ చేసుకునేది అరే తను చదువుతుందని ఈ అమ్మాయి చదివేది ఈ అమ్మాయి చదువుతున్న ఆ అమ్మాయి చదివేది ఇద్దరు పడుకుంటే ప్రశాంతంగా ఇంకే బాధే లేదు ఓకే ద థింగ్ ఈస్ ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఈవెన్ రైట్ వన్ పీర్ ఓకే దే విల్ పుల్ యూఅప్ ఓకే సో ఫైండ్ యువర్ రైట్ పీర్స్ దట్ ఈస్ వెరీ వెరీ ఎసెన్షియల్ ఫ్యాకల్టీ ఎంతసేపు వచ్చి తిట్టలేడు కదా యూ నీట్ హ్యావ్ ద రైట్ సపోర్ట్ సిస్టమ్ అండ్ ట్రస్ట్ మీ ఐ విల్ టెల్ యూ పర్సనల్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఇన్ టూ థౌజండ్ థర్టీన్ టూ థౌజండ్ థర్టీన్ ఆర్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఐ డోంట్ రిమెంబర్ ఐ డిడెంట్ క్లియర్ మై ఫస్ట్ ఫిలిమ్స్ ఓకే మా లైబ్రరీ ఉంటుంది వీ హ్యాడ్ ఎ లైబ్రరీ ఆఫ్ థర్టీ పీపుల్ అంటే ఇట్స్ లైక్ ఎ రెక్టాంగులర్ లైబ్రరీ ఓకే థర్టీ పీపుల్ వర్ దేర్ ట్వంటీ ఎయిట్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ క్లియర్డ్ ఫిలిమ్స్ ఓకే literally few of them stopped talking to me when i said hi in the next day next day morning okay antak mundu varaku raskon buskon tea lu chai lu discussion all these things were there the next day morning i said hi okay they didn't even respond properly i thought it's arrogance em anta devullu aipothara prelims aithe ani cheppi but the lesson they have imbibed in me is this okay i was not serious in their eyes i was a distraction veedu tho maatladatha naku em raadu okay and i carried that lesson very nicely with me i made myself better i had to become again ag- i have to join that gang they motivated me indirectly through a harsh way but that is a kind of ruthlessness people will show and this is way back in 2011 12 okay and that person is an ias now so his or her stand is vindicated yes or no నా పని ఏంటి నేను ఐఏఎస్ అవ్వాలి వాడితో వీడితో ఫ్రెండ్షిప్ అవ్వడానికి లేదా వాడు బాధ పడతాడంటే నాకు సంబంధం లేదు నేను ఇక్కడికి వచ్చి చదువుకోవడానికి ఐ విల్ బీఏ ఐఏఎస్ దట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ కమిట్మెంట్ పీపుల్ హ్యాడ్ ఐ కమ్ ఫ్రమ్ దట్ ప్లేస్ వెన్ ఐ సీ ఆల్ దిస్ స్టూపిడిటీ గోయింగ్ ఆన్ ఇన్ అండ్ అరౌండ్ అశోక్ నగర్ ఆర్ యూ నో ద మోడర్న్ డే టెలిగ్రామ్ గ్రూప్స్ అండ్ ఆల్ దీస్ థింగ్స్ ఐ ఫైండ్ ఇట్ వెరీ ఫన్నీ ఇట్స్ హ్యూజ్ వేస్ట్ ఆఫ్ టైమ్ అండ్ డిస్ట్రాక్షన్ రైట్ ఈవెన్ ఇఫ్ యువర్ బెస్ట్ ఫ్రెండ్ ఈస్ నాట్ సీరియస్ కట్ దెమ్ అవుట్ దట్ ఈస్ అ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ కమిట్మెంట్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఓకే ఓన్లీ దెన్ యూ హ్యావ్ సమ్ ఛాన్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ ఎగ్జామ్ రైట్ సో ఫస్ట్ ఇంతసేపు నేను ఏం చెప్తున్నానంటే ఇట్స్ ఆల్ అబౌట్ మైండ్ సెట్ ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ సీరియస్ యూ విల్ ఫైండ్ ఎ వే యూ విల్ ఫైండ్ ద రైట్ పీర్స్ నాకు అమ్మాయి నచ్చదు అంటే ఏం ఆ అమ్మాయి నేను బెస్ట్ ఫ్రెండ్ చేసుకోమని చెప్పలేదు యూ హ్యావ్ టు టాక్ టు హర్ ఓన్లీ ఫర్ వన్ పర్పస్ వాట్ ఈస్ దట్ యూ విల్ యాక్ట్ ఆస్ మోటివేషన్ ఫర్ హర్ షీ విల్ యాక్ట్ ఆస్ ఎ మోటివేషన్ ఫర్ యూ అంతవరకే క్లాస్ వరకే క్లాస్ అయిపోయిందంటే వీ డోంట్ ఈవెన్ నో ఈచ్ అదర్ ఓకే బట్ ఇఫ్ యూ మెయింటైన్ సచ్ బ్యాగేజెస్ ఓకే ఇన్ ద లాంగ్ రన్ ప్రిలిమ్స్ రిజల్ట్ చూసినప్పుడు అమ్మ నాన్న ఫోన్ చేసి ఏమైంది అంటే యూ విల్ సమ్హౌ ఫీల్ గిల్టీ రైట్ యూ నో దట్ యూ వేస్టెడ్ టైమ్ దట్ ఈస్ నో ఎక్స్క్యూస్ ఇన్ టూ థౌజండ్ టెన్ వెన్ వెన్ పీపుల్ రైట్ మెయిన్స్ ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ డే ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ టూ థౌజండ్ ఐ మీన్ నెక్స్ట్ డే ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ తప్ప జిరాక్స్ పేపర్లు వచ్చేవి కాదు మార్కెట్లో క్వశ్చన్ పేపర్స్ నో ప్రిలిమ్స్ విల్ బి డన్ బై లెవెన్ థర్టీ లెవెన్ థర్టీ ఫైవ్ స్కాన్ ఈస్ అవైలబుల్ అండ్ టెలిగ్రామ్ so your generation of have all the luxuries of technology chat gpt right or uh, artificial intelligence you have every resource available if you are not becoming ias officer or if you are not even writing mains there is only one reason that you are not serious there is no other excuse do you agree yes yes or no that that is that is the basic mindset part okay now that mindset has been discussed the one more simple thing that you need to do is basic tools what are basic tools let's say uh, your mom asked you to make some sambar curry or something like that okay what are the things that are needed let's say a tomato rasam all of you know tomato rasam yes yes so what is the most important thing needed for a tomato ras <laughs> hmm apart from that water hmm hmm pressure cooker <laughs> no not needed pressure cooker needed or not needed needed okay then again i am not testing your culinary skills boys సార్ మళ్ళీ అమ్మాయిని అడిగితే స్టీరియో టైప్ చేశాడు ఆ సార్ అంటాడు రైట్ నో నో లెట్ దెమ్ యూ మస్ట్ హ్యావ్ కుక్డ్ అట్లీస్ట్ వన్స్ ఇన్ యువర్ హాస్టల్స్ రైట్ నో ఎప్పుడు పోలేదా వంటింట్లోకి 
పాట్రియార్కి ఎస్ నో నో ఐడియా లకీ సాల్ట్ ఎస్ ఆర్ నో ఎస్ దెన్ ఫైర్ అంటే వీ వీ టేక్ దెమ్ ఫర్ గ్రాండెడ్ రైట్ ఫైర్ సిలిండరు గ్యాస్ స్టవ్ ఆల్ దీస్ ఆర్ ఇంగ్రీడియంట్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ టేకెన్ యాజ్ అ బేసిక్ బట్ ఇఫ్ దే ఆర్ నాట్ దేర్ వాట్ విల్ యూ డూ విత్ ఆల్ ద రెసిపీ అంటే దేర్ ఆర్ సమ్ థింగ్స్ విచ్ యూ టేక్ ఫర్ గ్రాండెడ్ దేర్ ఆర్ సమ్ థింగ్స్ విచ్ యూ నీడ్ టు మేక్ ఇట్ బెటర్ ఓకే బట్ ద అండర్లైన్ థింగ్స్ హ్యావ్ యూ సీన్ ఏ మూవీ కాల్డ్ ఎస్ క్యాస్ట్ అవే క్యాస్ట్ అవే అని ఒక మూవీ ఉంటుంది అంటే ఒక షిప్ మునిగిపోతుంది దెర్ ఇస్ ద షిప్ విచ్ విల్ సింక్ అండ్ ద పర్సన్ విల్ బి థ్రోన్ టు అన్ అన్నోన్ ఐలాండ్ ఓకే హీ విల్ స్ట్రగుల్ ఫర్ త్రీ అవర్స్ జస్ట్ టు స్టార్ట్ ఏ ఫైర్ ఓకే వీ ఫర్గాట్ హౌ టు స్టార్ట్ ఏ ఫైర్ విత్ యునో టూ స్టోన్స్ రైట్ We assume fire and a matchstick. Where will you find a matchbox in, you know, an island? That person spends literally three hours and when he finally gets there, he has to find a fire and he has to find a fire. That person spends literally three hours and when he finally gets the fire, he celebrates like anything. Okay, that tells us we forgot the basics. Yes or no? But once you are very good in the basics, automatically you will shine. I hope you understand. so in upsc there are certain basic tools that you need to incorporate basic tools evaraithe master chestaro vallu they will shine go and ask even a mains aspirants many of them don't have the basic tools properly that is why they take two attempts three attempts right so what is the most obvious basic tool mm mm-hmm. yes mm that is a small difference syllabus copy should be in your brain sir i have syllabus copy i can show you okay i can also show you that's not the problem right the problem is you should have syllabus copy in your brain okay why syllabus copy in your brain so this is an article from today's hindu kejriwal looks to boost night time economy address safety concerns first women okay which gs paper what's your name bavya bavya will tell us which which syllabus i mean which gs paper does it apply to is this article relevant bavya you think so why <laughs> see again i'm not i'm trying to engage all of you so that yes economy paper gs3 very good hmm social issues which paper some paper <laughs> yes what's your name sindhu sindhu will tell us which paper is it important yes why last mere last inka gs2 paper social issues sure i'm not asking a question i'm asking syllabus copy negative marking em ledu yes please paper 1 social issues paper 1 lo social issues unda society unda social issues ekkada undi you understand the problem right asala the discussion e gaadu that is the most chiller discussion of all why you should by default no not today but one day when you look at this article you should know immediately second thing obviously the thing is delhi chief minister wants to what promote night time economy okay and generating more jobs so if shops are open 24 by 7 more people will work okay that will lead to spill over of the economy so that is his uh, that is his aim okay there is no harm in that i say what are people saying so here we have to remember two things money and jobs this is from whose perspective government's perspective but what are women in delhi saying most of the women who works as waiter generalist data operator store manager nurse hospital receptionist and all these people they are saying this paragraph okay almost all of them expressed concern about their safety and how delhi public transport okay doesn't work for 
ఫైవ్ మినిట్స్ ఆర్ సారీ ఫైవ్ అవర్స్ ఎంటైర్ నైట్ అంటే వాట్ వే అంటే ఈ పేరాగ్రాఫ్ ని వేర్ విల్ యూ పుట్ ఇట్ challenges is definitely it's a challenge but challenge why hmm i will also say it's a governance failure it's governance see this is government's dream this is governance okay and uh, you don't have public transport and you expect women to travel okay then there is also one more thing uh, there is an example where she says prerana prerana says that she is working as a waitress and she is waiting in a bus stop and while she was waiting near her workplace okay to visibly misbehaving with her who is selling alcohol government government have a dream government have governance issue government is also selling alcohol government also wants women to work so whose problem is it to solve this governance problem is or no this is a take away right is or no now the thing is should government sell alcohol during particular timings what if i purchase it and drink sometime later no 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 i am just uh, th- th- that is aspect i appreciate that see because engagement is more important right that will sharpen our thinking so you cannot stop people from misbehaving if they decide to misbehave so what else needs to be done how na so one day what will happen is you will read gs paper 3 economy indian economy not economics indian economy that day you understand that majority of the state revenue is coming from petrol and alcohol okay only petrol and alcohol states cannot literally stop sale of alcohol so you understand states problem second thing you also understand that we are not paying enough for the people to maintain 24 by 7 staff why state revenues are again less okay next this is not only the problem of state this is also problem of ethics is or no you drink that is your freedom okay but you should drink in your own home why should you drink and come to the roads yes second thing don't we all know it's a it's a punishable offense yes or no criminal law amendment act 2013 that means one day you'll read gs paper 2 and you will understand harassing women in public places or any places is a criminal offense non bailable offense okay so that is a problem so one f- small article will teach you so many insights but first of all when you read this article in hindu you won't even notice it why we actually don't know the syllabus copy do you do you agree that means if you know syllabus copy not only you know which articles to read you will also n- know how to read each paragraph how to apply your existing knowledge to each question yes clear yes hmm then this can also be helpful in one more concepts called as freebies freebies what are freebies freebie ante enti free anything that is given free by the government is free recently in karnataka congress government came into power okay what was their biggest promise that women in karnataka can travel freely in public transport arvind kejriwal the chief minister of delhi also said women in delhi can travel freely in metro okay so here there is a dilemma if you read this paragraph please read this paragraph what is that paragraph saying so that means 30 rupees if they work for 20 days they have to spend 600 rupees let's imagine they are getting 4000 rupees salary or something within that again they have to invest some money on transport indirectly she is asking that i cannot afford public transport so let's make public transport free at least for women maybe in night times yes or no if you want to promote night economy that will lead to other 
expenditure expenditure from whose perspective government's perspective okay should we give it to her i hope you are understanding ante one single article will have 10000 things to learn okay if you read this particular paragraph what is this paragraph saying See, there is a there is a provision i will tell you i don't know if you are aware of it or not if if you are hiring some women female employees in the night time night shift okay all women employees are supposed to be dropped up at their doorstep okay accompanied by a security guard vaadu vachi calling bell gotti intik lopal ki ellindi annake you can leave the cab cannot just drop her in the street corner and go away they have to make sure that she reached the home also so if if i hire women employee if i don't follow this i am punishable you can arrest me so it's a very very complex topic if you hire women you have some burdens if you don't hire them economy won't grow if you leave it to them public transport is not working properly so ultimately what happens so if your dream is to ask more women to come into the economy you have to solve a lot of systemic problems to make money you have to invest money this is take away from just one article if you open today's hindu 9 out of 10 people will not even notice that article that is a problem every single article carries a lot of weight if you have the right perspective right mindset for that what is the basic tool syllabus copy where that is what when i say in your brain sir i know the line not the line you need to know the depth i can use this in ethics i can use this in ethics case study okay so how do we achieve that prelims and mains okay so at least last 10 years both the prelims and mains questions should be in your brain everything every single line should be in your brain from pressure cooker all the way till i to you to or anything about ethics case studies everything you should know yes hmm. next what do you think is the third most important tool newspaper okay ncrts hmm. see all these are uh no they are means not the tools these are tools okay ncrt or uh, what else newspapers are means what do you normally what does your mom do uh, in the kitchen every weekly once or something maintenance right the most important thing is maintenance sharpening the tools yes or no you need a sharpener what is the sharpener here in upsc sorry revision revision is not sharpener revision is revision okay the thing is perspective check every other day you need to remember if you remember these things or not sir eppudu ochadu ogaro stittadu oopu ochindi syllabus copy chadivanu varam ayindi i forgot syllabus copy what is the purpose of that every day you have to keep checking your perspectives every hour every day every possible discussion okay you need to develop what perspective check am i doing one thing what is that perspective check that is marks i read an article i showed you a hindu article for 5 minutes okay this article you read for 5 minutes okay if you don't use at least one line of it either in prelims mains or in your interview you have wasted 5 minutes of your life either read it with intent that is perspective or don't read it so to read ncrts to read newspapers you need to have the right mindset right or else why 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 read why not watch you know jabardas Yes or no? It's a waste of time. Anything you do, you do with perspective, or else you don't do it at all. Yes. 
So if someone asks you, what are the problems of women in India, based on this article, what are the two points that you will tell? Any one person, yes. Sexual harassment, yes, then? Is it transportation or transportation as a hindrance to empowerment? See, women are not asking for jobs, right? They are, they are capable of doing the jobs, but they need the mobility to do jobs. I have skill, but I don't go out. Why? My family will say you will be harassed. So if I remove that barrier, you are adding more women to economy automatically. Yes. What else? Security issues, sexual harassment and security issues. Good. Ingemundi. Now try to recollect a very famous quote by Gandhi. What is the famous quote by Gandhi? <laughs> what is the famous quote by Gandhi? All of you know, right? No? We are truly free, or India achieved freedom only when women can walk freely in the midnight. Okay, without any harassment. So 75 years after independence, can we say that we are free? No. So you, you learned how to write an answer, right? You saw an article, what are the problems in that article? Okay, what are the solutions? You can think of some solutions. Public transport should be available 24 by 7. It should be made free for women at least in the night times. And you will end with a quote. We have still miles to go because as per Gandhi, we are still not free. Right? That is answer writing. Answer writing is not some achievement. It's just how you use newspaper. And this is not even editorial. This is just a side article. Okay? So these are basic tools. Now the medium level means is newspaper every day. Okay? Newspapers every day. Yojana magazine selectively. Newspaper every day. Again, I have one more PDF. I will show you. There are so many. There are so many sources for current affairs. If you look at current affairs sources, newspapers are there. Yojana and Kurukshetra. You have current affairs blogs. You have magazines. YouTube, Telegram, nowadays Instagram. Yes, no, people are learning current affairs from Instagram. I don't know how that works. Okay. But nothing beats newspaper. Yes. And then lastly, you also have economic survey and budget. All these are sources for what? Current affairs. But if you ask me, if you have to throw out everything into the garbage and read one thing every day, that will be newspapers. Why? What is the difference between newspaper and a blog and a magazine? Hmm. Good. Definitely. Newspapers have depth of information. Others won't have it. Okay. Apart from that. Opinion, sir. Okay. Opinions are more consolidated in blogs. That is what you are saying. Okay, fine. Right. Okay, newspapers are for everyone. So every general opinion matters. Good point. Yes. Spoon feeding by blogs. Newspapers will not do spoon feeding. You have to work hard. Yes. Okay. Anything else? The most important new the most important thing newspapers will do is context. They add context. They will give you the story in a period of 15 days. For example, if you have observed, a cyclone has recently hit Gujarat. In the last one week, did you see newspapers? Day one, they will tell you there is going to be a cyclone. Day two, they will tell probably it will hit Gujarat. Day three, they will tell you that Gujarat is evacuating people in coastal areas. Day 4, the problem of cyclone. Day 5, how the cyclone affected. Day 6, there is an editorial saying, we have achieved a lot. Yes or no? That means, it's like sixth day, you have a full story and you are not burdened. You are reading it like headlines. One day you read, okay, cyclone is coming, cyclone came, cyclone went away. What happened? What did we learn? 
so if you have to write an answer how will you write an answer indian meteorological department have forewarned yes or no disaster management lo answer writing ante em undi ide kada indian meteorological department imd has forewarned people so that people are evacuated how do i know that it's a good point in disaster management welcome to newspaper reading okay there is a line in today's hindu which says a cyclone in 1998 struck gujarat same state same geography didn't change right did it same gujarat same place reportedly how many people died 3000 people died when 1998 how many years ago approximately 25 years ago yes or no approximately 25 years ago one cyclone killed 3000 people yes how many people died this time there have been only two casualties just imagine a cyclone of that severity hitting and only two people died in the same state same place where 3000 people died is or no that is the most important thing that you need to understand so if you have to write an answer how will you write indian meteorological department warned us we have evacuated how many people nearly 1 lakh people so all this is in newspapers you just need what perspective answer writing is not something that falls from the sky it is how you think okay we will start with step one step two we have evacuated in comparison we will write earlier 3000 people died now only two people died that is what success or failure bumper success like it's super duper success right yes or no how did we achieve this we achieved this through planning disaster management can we call it as good governance can we call it as an achievement of India? Yes. Okay. What else is there? What else can we do? Okay. Either good chani pokuna try We can aim for not even single loss of life, zero casualty. Yes. Second thing, what are the damages? We lost power. Power outages is still a problem. That means whenever cyclone comes, all the poles will be removed. Uh, there will be loss of economy. So we can go for underground cabling. Yes or no? That can be a lesson here. Yes. Next. What else? Uh, reopen. Normal is still awaited. Something is better than nothing. Okay. People didn't die. Economy has lost. But within one week, people will come to normalcy but apart from all these things hindu will also say that we have to invest in what is bulwark in in general english law bulwark bulwark is a very strong protection ultimate protection okay man sorry mangroves are a natural bulwark against cyclone so if we invest more in natural that is mangroves mangroves and details kada you must have seen mangrove plants okay marshy plants if there are more mangrove plants cyclones impact will be very very minimal okay so it's easy to write a 10 marker answer if you read an editorial and every day the cyclone articles i hope you understood six days ago the articles started in the seventh day what happened concluded so over a period of one week you you learned a 10 marker answer without even a stress without a burden but it is more organic prithiroju koncham koncham ekkichadu slowly okay but you, you should be reading it of course then you should have the right perspective to pick up see out of this 500 word article what are the things that i underline only those things which are useful to me so that i will use in the answer writing did i underline every other line there are so many other words. Did I focus on them? No. And then our perspective is marks. Marks are not comparison. How will I say that we succeeded in the new recent cyclone? Compare old with new. Right? Next, what else to be done? That is way forward. Okay. And if you are an absolute beginner, you will always work on some things like geography, prelims bits. What are the categories of cyclones? What are the various categories? Category 4, 5, 1, 2, these are there. Okay. Next, 
who names cyclones what is the name of the cyclone beep or jai yes who named it that is a mains question 2014 how are cyclones named is a mains question 2014 so what is our basic tool sorry previous year question so if i know a previous year question what will i do automatically will i ignore this line name of the cyclone or severity of the cyclone no i will know who, which country named it how cyclones are named okay what is the category of severity right clear yes this plus interlinking what is interlinking interlinking ante enti connecting the dots okay now you have some knowledge of cyclone right gujarat was hit so we have evacuated we have rescued and all those things are we going to see more of this kind of things yes do you have a data see without data you are just one more person with opinion think of it you are not amartya sen you are not prime minister modi if you say something it won't be used as upsc codes you are just a ordinary human being so whatever you do whatever you say you have to substantiate it with what data do you have data to say that there will be more cyclones do you no but you think more cyclones will come is yes or no appude em cheyali that is where again newspapers will help you empirical data okay with the charts i can so show that there are more cyclones now in arabian sea and cyclones in bay of bengal are coming down right this is again official data the red line is arabian sea the blue line is bay of bengal normally more cyclones are supposed to be in bay of bengal but after 1970 you can see there is a downward trend but whereas in arabian sea they are increasing not only this the headline says everything intensity of cyclone has increased ante cyclones raavadame kaadu how severe they are annadi increasing so now i think you have a complete picture yes or no if you look at this 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 part of the chart you can clearly see as the Uh, as we are closing to 2023 more and more cyclones are becoming intense is or no you have to spend a time 15 minutes on this article so that you will have a permanent answer why you are working through consistency slowly okadu batti kottichakunda meerantha meere mi brain vaadi editorial chadivaru ee article chadutunnaru renditni kaluptaru so now that what is the problem if you are a district collector in some gujarat district you know that cyclones are going to increase cyclone intensity is going to increase what will you invest in underground cables more mangroves and involving the local community why they are the victims kada see you should educate a fisherman why mangrove is your best friend if we educate the fishermen automatically they will plant more mangroves case study clear this is how you read current affairs or newspapers through perspective how did uh, i know all these things only because of previous year sorry <laughs> practice uh, practice is definitely true but at the same time it's about perspective okay you need to have right perspective నాకు యూపీఎస్సి యూ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ టు సే సార్ జాగ్రఫీ కాలేదు ఆర్ సంథింగ్ ఐ డిడెంట్ రీడ్ ఐ డిడెంట్ రీడ్ ఎన్సీఆర్టీస్ కామన్ సెన్స్ హ్యాస్ నథింగ్ టు డూ విత్ బుక్స్ ఎస్ ఆర్ నో యు ఆర్ ఎ గ్రాడ్యుయేట్ యూ కెన్ రీడ్ ఇంగ్లీష్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ ఏ ఇంగ్లీష్ న్యూస్ పేపర్ ఎస్ ఆర్ నో ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ అండర్స్టుడ్ రైట్ వితౌట్ నోయింగ్ హౌ సైక్లోన్స్ ఫామ్ యూ అండర్స్టుడ్ ద కాన్సెప్ట్ దాంట్లో అంత రాకెట్ సైన్స్ ఏముంది వీ ఓన్లీ నీడ్ టు హ్యావ్ పర్స్పెక్టివ్ క్లియర్ ఎస్ Hmm. as i was saying any other prelims questions chadavaled kada ee roju paper poddun levangane paachipallato newspaper chadivithe andam veru okay you'll remember it for long time 
after that only you should go for coffee tea and breakfast or anything that should be a rule the first thing you do after waking up is open the editorial section of hindu fold it nicely take a pen and start reading it that is the first thing after the 40 minutes me ishtam a roj anta em cheyakapaina still it's a productive day because you actually have learnt a lot this is where questions will come from not the stupid talks that you know that are posted as current affairs everywhere newspapers are still the gold benchmark see any top 10 ranker from anudip durishetty all the way till recent uma harathi everybody will scream i used to read newspapers i used to read newspapers shruti sharma made it a point saying i literally made all my notes from newspapers how many times i don't know i have to tell them to make you understand that newspapers are your best friends clear okay next hmm బేసిక్ టూల్స్ లేకుండా న్యూస్ పేపర్ చదివితే అర్థం కాదు ఎందుకు చదువుతున్నామో బట్ ఇఫ్ యూ నో బేసిక్ టూల్స్ న్యూస్ పేపర్ విల్ బి ఫన్ టు రీడ్ ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ థింగ్ ఈస్ బ్రెయిన్ వాషింగ్ యూ షుడ్ బి వెరీ క్లియర్ అబౌట్ బ్రెయిన్ వాషింగ్ ఇన్ న్యూస్ పేపర్స్ ఎవ్రీ న్యూస్ పేపర్ ఆర్టికల్ విల్ హ్యావ్ సమ్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్ఫ్లుయెన్స్ బయాస్ యూ షుడ్ స్టీర్ క్లియర్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ యూ షుడ్ ఓన్లీ బిలీవ్ వన్ థింగ్ సేఫ్టీ లైస్ ఇన్ నెంబర్స్ ఆర్ ఫ్యాక్ట్స్ okay any criticism of government of india when backed by facts is safe any criticism of government of india when just given as an opinion you should be very clear of that article okay why am i saying this for example today's hindu this article what indians should be saying to the us on june 21st okay this entire article had one purpose that is to criticize prime minister modi from starting to ending under him democracy is dying under him minorities are suffering under him genocides are i mean all these things have happened so he is not a promoter of human rights india should always believe in pluralistic values secularism should be there this is a criticism of the article okay the problem is 9 out of 10 points they say are again opinions of some other opinions not government reports it is true it is not true both are equally there so you should be very very clear in what to take what not to take from newspapers just because you read this article you your blood will boil like the trakshakudu movie you you know think of okay i will do this okay that is not the true case right there are some problems in india nobody can deny that but at the same time as an individual are we promoting in pluralistic values if there is one line to take away that is this India will only inaugurate a Indian century if its great traditions of pluralism and respect for diversity can be recovered there is somewhere we have to accept that pluralism is not being totally appreciated in India okay diversity is not being celebrated as much as we want to okay so some issues are there if we solve those issues India will always be a great country then you, you will bring one day your ethics knowledge what is your ethics knowledge సర్వ ధర్మ సమభావ ఇండియా ఆల్వేస్ హ్యాడ్ దిస్ ట్రెడిషన్ ఆఫ్ సర్వ ధర్మ సమభావ వే బిఫోర్ ఇండియన్ కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ బిఫోర్ నైన్టీన్ ఫార్టీ సెవెన్ ఆల్సో ఇండియన్ ఎథోస్ ఆర్ ఇండియన్ వాల్యూస్ ఇస్ అట్ ప్లూరలిజం ఈస్ అప్రిషియేటెడ్ ఓకే వీ సెలబ్రేటెడ్ డైవర్సిటీ సర్వ ధర్మ సమభావ అండ్ సర్వే జన సుఖినో భవంతు yes or no india also believed in the principle of sarve jana sukhino bhavantu that means within the pluralism we want sarva sarva means all everyone this clubbed with vasudaiva kutumbakam okay then india will be a wonderful country so i will ignore the entire 1400 words in that article and i will only take the last two lines and i will add my own ethical knowledge to that that is sarva dharma samabhava and vasudeva kutumbakam and sarve jana shukino bhavantu my answer or my conclusion is done so if a question comes on criticizing government of india or india is not having universe, unity in diversity pluralism etc etc what will i say i will conclude with india has always a pluralistic country india will work to become a pluralistic country this is how you think okay then again i am not i i hope you haven't read these articles right chadavara no right hmm. this is also a loaded article what is meant by loaded article 
two people that is sheikh hasina if you remember bangladesh discussion she is sheikh hasina and he is the head of maldives okay both of them wrote an article in hindu okay you don't know if this article is important or not why first chadavaledu okay the most obvious fact is you haven't read this article second thing you don't know syllabus copy third thing is you don't know previous year questions okay now the problem starts the problem is this article is a very manipulative article talking in support of uae that is united arab emirates but dinlo konni manchi manchi vishayalu unnai what are those things anna we you will pick up over a period of time not immediately but for a innocent mind like you when you start reading this article it won't make any sense are yendra me bada why are you writing this article for who are you writing this article they are writing this article for one person that is somebody in us somebody in us criticized somebody in uae these people are writing in hindu and we are being bothered okay but if you have the right perspective you'll pick up certain things what are those certain things for example <coughs> Bangladesh and Maldives are also leaders of climate vulnerable countries what is climate vulnerability this is your take away if you don't know at least common sense will tell you right what is vulnerable being weak why am i being vulnerable because of climate so if sea level rises if sea level rises who will sink maldives bangladesh both of them have good coastal area is or no so that means both of them are representative of climate vulnerable countries second thing is clean energy future so if you are talking about renewable energy what is a polluting energy hmm what pollutes the planet Fla fossil fuel and plastic but all of them come from petroleum products only crude oil is a source for plastic crude oil is a source for pollution coal is source for pollution so anything fossil fuel is bad anything renewable energy is good is or no so what should we aim for we should aim for clean energy how will we achieve that hmm the thing they are wanting to argue is you know fossil fuel plus renewable energy can work together and money from fossil fuel energies can support renewable energy renewable energy means solar wind hydro nuclear power plants all these are renewable energies okay not only this countries with money can give country, uh, countries with low money or low income to move towards renewable energy okay and there is one more term called as loss and damage fund mik telidu but you can write it in a white paper and keep it aside but one day you will find what is loss and damage fund that is agreed upon sharm el sheik which is a city in egypt and that is about climate change okay what what ante enta pani ki marin article lo kuda if you have the right mindset you can pick up certain keywords this can directly become a prelims question and people will be surprised are sir i never saw that term okay it's not your problem it's your perspective problem are we clear i hope you understood newspaper reading is an art but to do that you need to have certain tools what are the tools syllabus copy in your brain your application you should be recollecting every question next is previous year questions again where starting lo brain lo undadu you can <laughs> you can have a pdf ready with you and search whenever you find a term you go to there the pdf search okay you will find previous year questions then one day you will slowly slowly remember all the questions once you do these two things newspaper reading will be a fun and be very 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 clear of this term you should always remember the arc of constitution should not be crossed this is called as arc of 
constitution okay within this laws rules regulations ethics mostly of all the things will be there so whatever you do your opinions should be limited only under this thing okay you cannot say i will i like shivaji movie rajnikanth i will take all the money from rich people and give it to poor people no no bhai yeah. you cannot do all those things you are a ias officer you are bound by rules and regulations so whatever you do you have to live in this hut this hut is constitution of india constitutionalism every opinion which is working in this direction is good working in this direction is bad outside is not even for discussion constitution that elta anada masal discussion lone ledu within the constitution you should always uphold the constitution maximize your values any opinion that you form should be within this clear the arc of constitution you cannot cross it you cannot break the rules in no way you can do certain things that is a major take away that you should remember okay so how do you know that any article which says government of india should not do this should do this you know that they are here in the border okay but if somebody is totally doing bhajan of government that is also wrong no government can be perfect is yes or no no government can be perfect at the same time no government can have all the flaws there will be good things there will be bad things but they should always be justified with facts without facts there is nothing so the major take away will be always if you are this person who are you you are hiding behind facts and then you are giving your opinion whatever you write in the newspaper is sorry whatever you write in your answers is your opinion but where are you hiding behind the facts so nobody can criticize you if i say prime minister modi is inefficient okay that is what opinion if i say according to cag certain things in india is not functioning well then that is what fact opinion based facts so that is constructive criticism so the thing is what constructive criticism end of the day i am constructive i want india to be better i want pm modi to perform better so i'm i'm const- criticizing yes but how am i criticizing constructively so that if they take that fact if they rectify that mistake they will become better if i say prime minister modi is the reason why odisha attack happened it's purely a loaded opinion but if i say if we invest more money in railway safety probably we will adv- avoid accidents that is constructive criticism yes or no so what should you pick up from newspapers only constructive criticism any criticism for facts or anything for constructive criticism only pure opinions should not go into your mind either faculties will influence you because some people are pro bjp some people are anti bjp some people are pro congress some people don't have any opinions but everybody can influence you why you are like white papers you don't know the entire history you don't know the perspective i will tell come and tell you know bjp is the best party ever oh sar said so it must be true okay i don't know right i can influence you but you should use your common sense is it based on what facts cross check everything anybody says you should not blindly believe even the faculty why If, even i am biased i will have my own biases you will have your own biases for example i can tell you which political party you support indirectly or directly in your family by reading the newspapers that your family follow if you are let's say from telugu states okay if i see a yellow newspaper in front of your house i know which political party you support if i see a blue color newspaper i know which political party you support that means newspapers have nicely brainwashed your families and obviously your father or mother can influence your political alliances yes or no that means the power of media is very high yes or no that is why all political parties own newspapers or tv channels they want to control the narrative fortunately for upsc there is no political alliances it's purely pro india india first india last nothing in between nothing is greater than india not prime minister modi not me not anything india first india last 
okay if i criticize pm modi i can criticize him he is a individual i cannot criticize prime minister post is yes or no i respect my pm because people elected him but i can criticize the individual called as modi for his flaws i can also praise him for his good deeds i hope you understand so you should be crystal clear you can criticize government but you should criticize only with what facts data empirical things empirical anything that you do in upsc should be around empirical data 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 without data without quotes without facts you are just opinions opinions are not appreciated only facts are appreciated or arguments backed by this is the best way to write answers that is why we say examples arguments backed by data facts with examples is what makes an answer irrefutable inga vade maatladdu anukundadu nen boy prime minister is doing okay what is okay how do i define okay for example is india a corrupt country Yes or no? Is India a corrupt country? How na? Last? How na? How do you know? Hmm. It's an opinion, right? It's just a opinion. How many of you have given bribe? how many of you know that at least one family member gave bribe for electricity connection house construction traffic police anything is bribe right yes or no even to get aadhar card you will give 50 rupees bonus money yes or no or somebody comes to your home all this is what corruption or not yes so according to corruption perception index india ranks 86 in the corruption ranking so india is the 86th most corrupt country in the world okay and there are surveys which shows that at least you know good number of indians 50 50% of indians have been at least asked bribe once one oh, or the other time in your life you will be asked corruption bribe indirectly or directly sir dasara inam that is also corruption right why even in railways have you traveled in rajdhani no or any any some some train duranto something like that non stop trains okay food and amenities are free yes everything is free water bottle food lunch breakfast is included in the ticket after that uh, when you are about to reach the final station that staff will come sir some money is or no if that is one form of corruption they are being paid salaries right you are not supposed to give tips but maharaja culture Yes or no? Somebody brought a good news. Ah, uh, you give the chain. So that colonial mindset, that Maharaja culture is still being carried by giving ten rupees to the, you know, the person who opened the car door. You will feel like Maharaja. Yes or no? So that is still there. Yes. So all these are what examples, facts, and opinions. So I hope you understood the perspective, right? What do you pick up from newspapers? You only pick up facts and data or constructive criticisms. If somebody says something randomly, don't believe it. You need to cross check. That is the meaning of the term empirical. Empirical data. Anything empirical means with proof. Empirical, empirical, empirical. Your preparation should also be what? Empirical based. Do you know polity? Yes. How do you know? syllabus mocks only when you write mocks you know whether you know polity or not right knowing polity is one thing knowing is one thing yes so if you solve polity questions that is when you know i know polity or else i completed lakshmikanth everybody completes lakshmikanth in 6 months no yes clear i hope you got some perspective today this is basics this is all what basics now the most important concluding part is this there is no such thing as current affairs there is no such thing as current affairs <coughs> okay current affairs is the static disguised 
what did we discuss about the cyclones is it static or current affairs it's extension of your static knowledge that means your geography is good then your cyclone understanding is good if your ethics is good then your application of pluralism is good if your polity is good then only you'll understand secularism yes or no that means as see that is nothing but your syllabus copy gs paper 1 2 3 4 segregated into squares okay that is your syllabus copy yes so if you are good in the surrounding parts automatically the heart is current affairs but a heart cannot survive on its own it needs to have basic structures so make sure you read your indian economy basics properly so that you will apply it to current affairs not the other way around people spend a disproportionate amount of time on current affairs and less time on static but it's other way around if you master your basics first then current affairs is cake walk you cannot appreciate geography uh, sorry uh, cyclone news article unless you have geography knowledge you cannot appreciate a indian economy article unless you have what indian economy basics so every single article here has to be mastered so that you will appreciate them in current affairs don't do the opposite sir i will spend 6 hours on current affairs 4 hours on static your ship will sink faster than titanic okay but if you read static nobody can sink you you will be invisible that is the take away static first current affairs is cherry on the top okay not the other way around but newspaper has nothing to do with each other newspaper is more about a revision mechanism newspaper is about promoting common sense so newspaper is dilating static first current affairs on the top newspaper daily that will complete your picture okay yeah again this also is the same line the order of reading ncert is static revision context and then the cherry on the top is newspapers but you read to new uh, sorry you read you need to read ncerts on your own okay and last sorry i forgot i should have started the class with this this is upsc my left hand is upsc okay these are standards of different different faculties different different institutions or different different perspectives okay never drag upsc to your level please never ever do that okay upsc is always upsc okay you need to raise your game please don't expect somebody to come down to your level sir nak vocabulary raadu you have to learn what vocabulary you don't know maths start from table start from square roots start from the basics whatever you do you have to rise up sir cut off should come from 33 to 23 why will upsc come down for you covid vachi janal sachipothe ante kuda ad pattichukoledu atlante why will it come for you you know because of a tough sea side it won't care you have to learn maths one year time undi learn from tables do the previous year question papers do ssc standard of questions work hard and go don't expect upsc to compromise for you Uh, one, one, you know this is a common misconception sir people don't read ncerts you want to utter inch okay why why don't they read newspapers when i went to delhi uh, i saw this india year book back then india year book was a very big thing india year book have, have you seen this pdf lo ga ado real la it, it's like a dumbbell right i have four or five right so every year people used to buy india year book you know 1000 pages who will read 1000 pages okay then i have seen one fellow completed it highlighted it he was revising it his fifth ranker all my ego all my you know perceptions got broken down that year okay they will untaru okay when i assume that people cannot read 1000 pages book that person revised it i was like okay this is commitment that is expectation so if people can revise and read india year book you have a problem reading ncert then you actually don't belong here or if somebody says you know that is not how you are supposed to read where where what other work do you have 
Yes or no? Don't drag UPSC to your level. Rise to UPSC level. If you remember this simple fact, you won't expect spoon feeding. What happens is faculty will come. They will one or two days see you. Okay, they understand you people are here. They will also come down to your level. They will superficially complete it and go away. The long term damage is you are not being trained for the real life. The mental shock is prelims hall. You'll go, you'll write, you'll get 60 marks and you will think, okay, this is not my cup of tea. I have worked too hard. Actually, didn't work hard. You worked half. Why? This is expected level. You are here. You brought down UPC to your level and you are very happy. Are I worked 100%. No. You actually worked only 50%. You have to up your game. Vocabulary Radu. I have a Telugu medium friend. He's an IPS. He's assistant commissioner uh, Chennai now. Okay. He literally had a book, diary, 150 words of English in Telugu. He literally worked so hard. And is an IPS now. Yours is not a unique story. You have to work hard. If you don't know something, you have to write, learn from the basics. Ego I have seen people going to handwriting classes. At the age of 24, 25, just imagine somebody going to handwriting classes sitting with third class people. Cursive writing. Circles. I have seen people practice circles. You know circles. Circles. Actually, if you can draw a perfect circle, your handwriting will improve. Right? Memory classes. People do all kind of stuff for UPSC. And the commitment general is soon up to in NCRT Zadvanu, NCRT na level gravali, summary on the NCRT. And the most irritating part is people will ask, Sir, is that a gist for Lakshmi Kant? Lakshmi Kant itself is a gist. Okay. Don't take shortcuts. Taking shortcuts will cost a lot in UPSC. But if you do all these things in the next nine months, trust me, you will write your mains. After that, no matter how long you are in UPSC, you will only go higher and higher. You will never fall down. If you don't read NCRTs, if your static is not weak, by some luck you cleared prelims, you will fail in mains. Again, you will come back in third attempt and start reading what? NCRTs. Go and check Anudip Durisati copies. Okay, uh, his his writing is fantastic, simple. At the same time, it's it's literally adapted from NCRTs. There is a line which says, "What is food security?" And Anudip Durisati starts with a simple introduction: availability, affordability, and accessibility. That is a copy paste from ninth class NCRT. And he got all India first rank. Yes or no? That means NCRTs are not only about basics. They are also how to, you know, uh, like the basics, foundation, fundamental. The language is simple. If you read any NCRT, do you find even the most complicated topic explained in the simplest fashion? Yes or no? That means the people who wrote are experts in their field. They distilled everything and made it very simple for you. So you should learn from NCRTs not only the knowledge, but the language, the expression. And people like Anudip Durisetti copied it and they got good scores. Yes, and you need to have what, right? Perspective. Egol, egol, anni pakkan vete si, malli ne ni insi aati nici modal pedta no ande, you will always have good growth. Okay, but somebody told you, okay, it's easy, it's okay to skip insi aati, then you are actually missing one block. Don't do that to yourself, apart from coaching. Apart from coaching, okay, if you find time, read one hour of insi aati every day. Vocabulary perukutundi, your conceptual clarity will increase, your understanding will increase, and create ecosystem. After this class, probably what will happen is Sar Jepe Jepta Undadu, Mem Jesho Mem Jesamu. That is the attitude that is carried forward by most students. You will not create ecosystems. You will always be Hyderabad crowd, there will always be Delhi crowd. We will only see their photos, we will only wait for the toppers to arrive from some place. Yes or no? Don't do that to yourself. If you are committed, Make sure you understand the basics of this exam properly. It's a project. It's a school level exam. School level exam lo M J sir saro. If book ko will you discuss? No right. School lo the sir will say you have to read this textbook and come. You you will read it and come. Is that no? But when it comes to UPSC, that is when we start using our own brain. When somebody says do this, we don't do that because it's easy to get distracted. Okay, but if you get tuned to this six months of hard work in your lifetime, you'll be happy for the rest of your life. Yes, so that is a sacrifice that we are asking you to do. 
nine months of consistent study with the right perspective you will definitely be there and you go and talk to your own peers for example when next time when you go to your uh, cousin's marriage or some family function everybody will be talking randomly and you will actually be more knowledgeable are that is not how it happens i will explain you come here that is some power right yes or no that happens only when you read newspapers or apply the right perspectives or else you will also be like shouting yes the government is increasing petrol prices no you will also say yes it is increasing jai telangana right it doesn't matter anything you need to have proper knowledge that comes only from basics okay so i hope you got perspective yes so will you go home and read that hindu editorial again and the cyclone article today sure <laughs> only two articles one hindu editorial that is the cyclone editorial and the other one is what why cyclones are happening there is one more article about congo how islamic radicals are killing school children in congo should you read it <coughs> it's in congo right it's an african country should we read it yeah e editorial massacre of innocents in congo which paper it's about human rights okay which gs paper 1 2 3 or 4 gs2 human rights international relations sure ah huh? social issues why 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 social issue international relations hmm ethics gs paper 4 okay hmm you read this article tell me tomorrow what is it that you found which you can apply in gs paper 1 2 3 or 4 okay sir e line prakaram i think this belongs to gs 4 but according to this line i think it's gs paper 2 or this is purely international relations or you can come and tell me i haven't read that is also fine <laughs> no yes clear koncham ongandi oka 9 months kashtavadandi you are like nursery plants it will take time for you to adapt to the shades manchiga comfort zone lo untundi kada green shutter es anta vedtadu indiki theesukoste endalo padestharu you will struggle starting few days it will be like this only but once you start investing you will start growing yes or no again find ecosystem cut useless people from your life that is the only thing next 9 months dan tarata mi ishtam ఏమని చేసుకోండి ఎస్ ఎనీ క్వశ్చన్స్ కరెంట్ అఫేర్స్ నోట్స్ హౌ టు ప్రిపేర్ కరెంట్ అఫేర్స్ నోట్స్ సో ఫస్ట్ బేసిక్స్ యాజ్ ఐ సెట్ టూల్స్ వచ్చే వరకు యు ఆర్ నాట్ సపోజ్ టు మేక్ ఎనీ నోట్స్ దెర్ ఈస్ నో పాయింట్ టు మేక్ నోట్స్ బికాస్ యూ డోంట్ ఈవెన్ అప్రిషియేట్ అంటే ఏం చదవాలో ఏం రాసుకోవాలో కూడా మనకు తెలియదు అండ్ యూ డోంట్ నో వాట్ టు సేవ్ వాట్ నాట్ టు సేవ్ సో దట్ దట్ ఈస్ అ బేసిక్ Hmm? and i shared the guide with you guys yes uh. yeah anything else and uh, if you find any quote some fact if you find it interesting you can segregate it okay uh, people use evernote or uh, mem there are so many tools online right uh, you can use online tools for example google drive అట్లా వాటిలో సేవ్ చేసుకోవచ్చు సర్చింగ్ విల్ బికమ్ ఈజీ బట్ వాట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ ఈస్ యూ విల్ కాపీ పేస్ట్ ఎంటైర్ పేరాగ్రాఫ్స్ పేరాగ్రాఫ్స్ అండ్ పోస్ట్ ఇట్ దేర్ వితౌట్ వితౌట్ రివిజన్ దెర్ ఈస్ నో పాయింట్ ఇన్ మేకింగ్ నోట్స్ సో ఫర్ ద ఫస్ట్ త్రీ మంత్స్ ఫోకస్ ఆన్ ఎన్సీఆర్టీస్ ఫోకస్ ఆన్ రీడింగ్ న్యూస్ పేపర్స్ డెవలప్ ద రైట్ పర్స్పెక్టివ్ మూడు నెలల తర్వాత ఆటోమేటికలీ యూ విల్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఎల్స్ ఓకే అండ్ ట్రస్ట్ మీ వాట్ యూ కెన్ రీడ్ ఇన్ థర్టీ మినిట్స్ యూ కెన్ రీడ్ ఇన్ థర్టీ మినిట్స్ యూ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ టు వేస్ట్ త్రీ అవర్స్ వాచింగ్ ఏ వీడియో జస్ట్ ఫర్ ఎ థర్టీ మినిట్స్ రీడింగ్ ఫస్ట్ ట్రై మీరంతా మీరు అర్థం కాకపోతే ఓన్లీ దెన్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు గో ఫర్ సమ్ అదర్ సోర్స్ క్లియర్ యా టుమారో బిఫోర్ క్లాస్ ఇఫ్ పాసిబుల్ రీడ్ న్యూస్ పేపర్ అండ్ కమ్ టు ద క్లాస్ యూ విల్ అప్రిషియేట్ ఇట్ బెటర్ టుమారో బిఫోర్ క్లాస్ ఈజ్ ఇట్ పాసిబుల్ క్లాస్ స్టార్ట్స్ అట్ నైన్ థర్టీ సో వీ విల్ వేక్అప్ అట్ నైన్ ఫైవ్ 
throw some water on the face have a breakfast 10 minutes come to the class 5 minutes 9 25 5 minutes we'll skim newspapers don't do that yes any questions Either? Uh, okay. Huh. Hmm. 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 In this article also, uh, there are certain names, right? Uh, Oxfam have said this. You now, I will give an example. Do you know Aurangzeb? Yes. Okay. Now, Aurangzeb is saying that, you know, Hindus are not good. Can we take Aurangzeb's word as a prima facie evidence? And what I am trying to tell you is, if I am citing some other countries, some NGO report, okay, we don't know if that NGO is influenced by whom. For example, let's say you are a Saudi billionaire. You gave 1 million dollars to an NGO in US. You are the Saudi billionaire, she is the NGO. You gave 1 billion dollars to her and she is writing that Muslims are being oppressed in India. So, should I believe it? Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> see, uh, did you see a civil war in Jammu and Kashmir after Article 370's dilution? For the first time in last decade, the tourism in Kashmir is all time high. So, if people in Kashmir are really oppressed, Okay, do you think they will allow travelers from all over India to come to Kashmir? And there is no one truth. If there are two people, there are three truths. Your truth, my truth and truth. Yes or no? So, if I ask Indian government, are you oppressing, uh, you know, uh, did you uh, remove Article 370 just to oppress Muslims? Okay, they will cite security reasons. If we don't take our Jammu and Kashmir now, okay, Pakistan and China will come together and they will occupy that territory. I showed you the map if you remember in IR. If you talk to a local Kashmiri, there is a happy Muslim, there is a you know oppressed Muslim. For example, Burhan Wani. He was a son of a schoolmaster who became a terrorist. Okay, and there is Shah Faisal from Kashmir who became an IS officer. And recently, also when UPS results came. Some uh, people from all sections of the society became IAS officers, Muslims also included, right? So there are evidences from my side to say that it is not as true as possible. And there is also truth to their side, there is that some oppression is there. Both are true. So now the problem is which one to believe is up to you. Hmm. The, the name of the party is what? Bharati Janata Party, like they, they have this RSS agenda and the, who is minority uh, uh, minister in uh, BJP? He is a Muslim, right? I think Abbas Nakvi or someone. Okay, and that is how democracy works. Okay, I will tell you one more thing. Uh, let's say, just uh, uh, just for sake of representation, you know, I will tell you one more thing. You are there, but all the decision is taken by me. Okay, are you actually representing the women community? That will be called as a tokenism. Yes, I hope you understand. And uh, this article has some facts. I am not saying Muslims are having a total 100% peaceful life in India. There are some truths. For example, mob lynching, cow lynching, these things keep on happening. Flogging keeps on happening in Gujarat. Communal hatred is all time high in India. No doubt about all these things, but suppress that is exaggeration. I know many Muslims who are in service, who are doctors, who are engineers, doing fantastically well. If irrespective of your religion, you are stealing, robbing something, then people are exaggerating it. Kashmir files, you can see how exaggerated things were. Uh, Hyderabad, 50% of the population are Muslims. Aren't we living peacefully? Right? There is some problem, definitely yes, but not to the level that NGOs in USA are exaggerating. So, 
that that's a mix okay yeah there is, there is no point in writing all those ngo names report names anyhow you want to use it uh, in uh, answers okay yeah but very valid question you need to know because manam ma, ma, ante are we killing our consciousness and uh, ignoring the plight of the muslims and no it's not as bad as it is and even prime minister modi rss chief everybody is saying we have to in incorporate them and uh, we are working on that it's not easy but election stunts tappo vallaki at the same time it's not as bad as possible triple talaq has its own issues uh, that is not women empowerment Yeah. yeah yes any other questions don't make notes that will be my honest suggestion because you don't know what to make notes what not to make notes ante inga opinion forms chese stage lone unnaru you may not be convinced with my answer you still think you know they are correct or you are correct or whatever oka 3 months down the line you will understand things are not bad, as bad as they are at the same time things are not correct both are equally true yes సో ఒపీనియన్ ఫామ్ అయిపోయిన తర్వాత నోట్స్ మేకింగ్ ఈజ్ ఈజీ యా ఎనీ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఎనీ వన్ నో సేమ్ సేమ్ యాటిట్యూడ్ ఎస్ దిస్ సైడ్ ఎనీ క్వశ్చన్స్ సో ఐ హోప్ యూ విల్ స్టార్ట్ రీడింగ్ న్యూస్ పేపర్ సీ యూ ఆల్ టుమారో కమ్ టు ద క్లాస్ ఆఫ్టర్ రీడింగ్ న్యూస్ పేపర్ వీ విల్ డిస్కస్ హౌ టు యాక్చువల్లీ సీఏ న్యూస్ పేపర్ అండ్ హౌ కరెంట్ అఫైర్స్ the so called current affairs will be applicable right yes osar kada i will ask you questions pakka women same delhi article something in those lines so look at every article don't leave anything okay yeah sir if you don't have any questions i will end the session here